Welcome back everyone, my name is Altamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Wrath of the Righteous. This is our good campaign and where we left off, off we were just kind of making our way through the Ivory Sanctum, doing fights, killing all sorts of minotaurs and all that jazz. Um, before we go too much further, I want to go back to a different room here. It's possible it's the room that is still coming up ahead. It might be this one up here. In fact, it seems very likely that it's one coming up ahead. Okay. Don't hold back. Um, this is a fairly Strike. You should have run. interesting looking fight. We'll be fine, I think. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. The Minotaur has taken some hits. Oh, can't we... Were we flat-footed or does this have just insanely high hit bonus? Plus 23 to hit. Fair enough. Alright. Plus 28 to hit. I guess we're just gonna have to be a little careful. Do we have Mage Armor and stuff on? I guess we don't have any of our buffs on, really. So we just gotta kind of be careful not to take a punch in the face. Also, I cleaned up my uh, UI a little bit here. Now it's a little more streamlined and actually has the things I want to put on it, so. I will resist. See, like, in pro oh, I, would, no I meant to use a Rushalay to go disarm that trap, but that's fine. Should be fine. This is okay. Missed entirely on that one. Uh, do we haste? We have seven hastes. We may as well haste. And no, that'll set off the trap for sure. Let's see if we can get him to there. We did take a giant hit from doing that, unfortunately. And we took a critical hit there, doing just so much damage to our poor dog. In fact, it was 127 damage in one hit. Completely normal to do just insane amounts of damage, no matter what. Um... Not gonna heal our dog yet. Let's just you shoot this thing. Me. Too late for apologies. Get evil eye on that one, and we're gonna go lockpick this trap. I'm glad I was useful to you. So that we can get across here. Um, I don't think we need to do too much with her spells. We could try like an ice prison or perhaps a hellfire ray on this guy. On it. I did a dumb, in fact, by running into melee, but this is fine. It's all good. He got back up, but then immediately fell back down again. That one did heal itself very annoyingly. Let's go beat it up. And we'll just let our other group members beat this one up. Uh, it won't be able to AOO, so let's get a heal on our good boy. I learned that we don't have an action this turn to use the spell, so we can do that next turn. Prepare yourself. She did not shoot again. Fair enough. Guide my blade. Uh, we'll just not do anything this round. That one has fallen over and it's going to take a bunch of hits standing up. In fact, it will immediately get turned into paste. And we'll use the saved up cure critical on that one. Good enough. Grabbing some magical items. And a couple more magical items. This is where the last of the um, Baphomet things are. We are pretty... Uh, we're not that buffed up. Okay, let's just get a couple more buffs out before we do this. And possibly end up dying. We don't need to cast Bless with her. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do... I'm going to use my new um, layout for everything. I made it all very streamlined and easy to figure out where things are, but now I've lost track of where my original places were for all of them, which is very silly, because they were terrible places. Um, I think that's probably good for buffs. We got... Oh, I also get key. Park skin. Alright, let's uh, see if we can just... You hit the button. My skills are absolute. Please. Allow this will be quick. And there he is, just up ahead. Accept death, rain yourself, something, something. 
offer yourselves up as a, as something to Baphomet. Doesn't matter. We're gonna shoot him in the. We're not gonna shoot him in the face. We did not hit. I'm gonna delay till after our main character. I know exactly how delays work. Thanks. Um, we do have some. I meant to change some of these spells around, actually. Like to get rid of Pit, which we don't ever use. In fact, I could just do that right now, anyways. Um, long story short, let's Hellfire, Riot. This is a surprise round, though, so that didn't work out. I'm gonna give Greater Heroism to Alira. She's gonna go get punched in the face, so might as well. And I do have some healing spells available. Mostly just spontaneous casts, though, right? So let's grab a Cure. Critical wounds. Again. I'm not about to go and do anything yet, but just wait this out. He has come to us. Alright, perfect. Um, we're going to turn off Deadly Aim. Make your peace. So that maybe we can actually hit it. Although we didn't, so. There you go. Uh, we're going to turn on Shattering Punch and turn. Which turns off one of our other abilities we had on. So our chances to hit 28s. We could turn off Piranha Strike, which I think might be an okay idea. 32 to hit. Did a solid amount of damage. Not a huge amount, but good enough amount. Um, Nenio is going to move back. She will take an AOO and immediately get turned into pace because these guys crit just the most I've ever seen in the game. Like, they crit half their attacks. I don't understand it. Their crit range is not that high. Although I shouldn't have moved Nenio forward. That was my own fault. Ah, these things happen. They roll many... Actually, no, they didn't. Oh, yeah, I rolled a 19. So probably 19 to 20. So they have a 10% chance. Allow me. But even still... Ready to move out? Uncool. They will break against Let's our try result. that again. Uh, we're going to study target this time. And we're gonna just wait. Nenio is further back, so that should be fine. And we're gonna cast nothing, I guess. Did it work? Good question. Nope, they succeeded at the reflex save. We're also gonna use the Freebooter's Bane on this one as well. Alright, should be coming to us. Oh, it's a surprise round, right? It's not going to be moving quite yet. Just not going to do any of that. We will evil eye it? I mean to evil eye, right? Should have remembered that from my other group. I should have turned off. Uh, Deadly Strike. And I should have turned on my other thing. I've been doing all the dumbs. Let's get in here. Four whole damage, nice. Alright, um, don't do anything. Go in and fight. We're gonna have to cast things like Scorching Ray. Which I realize now is on this bar somewhere right there, under my attack spell. Things turn off, deadly aim, so there is a chance we can hit this thing. Not a very good chance. Turn off Piranha Strike, turn on the other one. Maybe I should turn off power attack on those guys, too. The light take you. I don't know what it's trying to do. It keeps trying to do overrun, but I don't really know what the purpose of that would be. So we have plus 20 to hit. If we turn this off, we have... Plus 20 to hit? I guess it was on when we started the round, so it probably didn't turn off yet. Alright, well, we'll turn it off for next round. To hopefully hit it. Good amount of damage. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to hit better now. Yeah, there we go. There's a couple hits. Nice, solid. You should have run. Main character did some pretty decent damage. Turning it off in hopes that we can actually hit this next turn. Um, I don't think she can do much other than just attack and hope for the best. Another overrun? 
yes, but not being able to move very much is definitely helping us. Now it's only an 18 to hit, and we did zero damage and then got hit back. I think natural weapons are bad against this guy. I'm just gonna not cast any more spells and just kill him, hopefully. Is that our main character? Hopefully? Come on. There we go. It is dead. We need to heal up our dear sweet dog again. It took a pretty solid hit. Two small heals, it should be good. You can tell we've killed all three of them because these things are all now the Baphomet symbol. So that means they're dead. We do have one more fight against a creature much like that one. It's gonna suck. But uh, it's not yet, so. There's something here. Now you might think, oh no, there's a trouble because the boulder, but it literally does nothing and is pointless. Oh, right, Mimics. I completely forgot this was a thing. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I guess attack. Turn on Prana Strike. Nope, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Turn on Deadly Attack. And we'll just keep firing. One Mimic is half dead. Do we haste? I mean, there's a fair few Mimics that we need to run some people away. That one's coming on in. Ember, I'm gonna just move you away, and you can just evil eye one of them, I guess. Should turn the power attack back on, probably. Lan is gonna get hit walking away, but that's fine. I'm actually gonna do a heal. There we go, now we're feeling a little bit better. Sila is in range of this one. Do I turn power attack back on? Our attack bonuses are pretty low, so maybe not yet. There's another one up here, too. Where is that one even going? So it's four in total. Did not turn power attack back. Oh, no, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Let's just kill this one, and then we'll move towards that one, I guess. Prepare yourself. Not a terrible round. That wasn't the most damage in the world. Ember is gonna run away, take an AOO. That's fine. I know we can disengage, but then you can't do an evil eye next turn. Um, run backwards. You won't survive me. Hop on in. Miss every attack. Oh no, we hit one. Never mind. Stop moving towards my people. It's very annoying. That one's close to death. We'll just move in towards this one. Defna, guide my hand. Terrible. Another fireball. Almost dead? You know what? We could just do this. Didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to. That wasn't a bad hit. Um, finish that one off. Thank you. This one's still up and running and has attacked Ember. That's fine. And we'll go beat this one up, get rid of it. Now we just have this one left. Man, we can't hit these things to save our lives. Evil Eye, will you help out? Please, someone just finish this thing off. Make every strike count. Somebody hit this thing one time. Thank you. Good lord. Alright, Mimics are now officially dead. All of them. We can loot the rest of the room. There is another symbol-y thing here, and now I can't remember what it was. I know I did it on the other group. Uh, wait before you lockpick that. Let's save. I'm glad I was useful to you. And there's a shield called the Light Shield of Cursed Allegiance. It's actually a really nice shield, but we're not going to use it, probably. Let's I'm move people here and here. 
And I'm not seeing a thing in here. Must be a thing to press somewhere. I'm going to pause. Actually, maybe I do remember this. Is it circle, hexagon, pentagon, triangle? Oh, my memory is awesome. Sweet. Okay, uh, this fight. We're going to move back. You might be wondering why. And the reason is this fight needs you to pull this guy back out of the room. It just is the only way to do it. Um, Arushale, all these people can go wait out in the hall. Why is Ember so slow? Did you get, like... You're not encumbered. You're not, you don't even have any equipment. What happened to all your equipment? Why do you have no equipment on? I'm confused. She looks super creepy with the crown. Like, really, really creepy. She doesn't really need a weapon, I guess. I could just give her, like, the crossbow judgment, I suppose. But she doesn't really need one. She's just evil-eyeing and spamming... Searing Ray, or whatever it's called. Um... What else can we even cast? What else can we do, I guess? Not that. Ring of Protection plus three could be useful. Doesn't need any of this, really. Basically, she gets hit, she's gonna die anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Persuasion. I think this persuasion's not bad. She's already got a Cloak of Resistance plus two. Hmm. I honestly don't know what to give her for equipment. I mean, the charisma is fine. That makes perfect sense. But, like, what else do we give her for, like, rings? She has no point blank shot. She doesn't do any ward stuff. A lot of items that are pretty good, but nothing really great for her. Anyways, it's not important. I don't know why she's watching so walking so slow. Oh, she's got adhesive entanglement on. From the mimic, is that permanent? We can put freedom of movement on her, and I think it'll get rid of that. Does anyone have freedom of movement memorized though? Trust in yourself. No I don't even know if anyone has a freedom of movement spell. I have an idea. You have the freedom of movement resisting boots, right? That did not work the way it... Oh, right. So we'll do this, and we'll go blue, right? And then... Oh, I didn't get rid of that. I was kind of hoping it would. But if it's not going to work, then I'm going to give him back to my other character so that she cannot be stopped. Um. Like, she's never going to make this saving throw. You called? Who's got the best lore religion check? Opinion? Probably her. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. It was worth a shot. Do we have a scroll of freedom of movement? Or that? Oh, wait, it's gone. We're good. We got it. It worked. Or she made the saving throw or something. She finally made the saving throw. Okay, cool. Let's I'll go get the guy that we need to get. We're going to just spread out our we people. This war. And we're going to go into here. Ah, oh, sucks so much. Run away! Okay, we're gonna wait for it to come out. It is 100% required that we do not fight it in this room. Yeah, yeah, dazzling display, no one cares. Would you follow me, please? That is what I really want you to do. Could I haste? Yeah. Am I going to? Nah. Ooh, that was much closer to hit than I thought it was going to be. She... Oh, he's got plus 36 to hit. That is impressive. We have 46 armor, and it's plus 36 to hit. That is... 
less than good. All right, well, let's just hellfire ray it. Let's get this party started. I hope it's out of range of the uh, aura. If it's not, we're screwed. 30 damage. Um, we'll take off deadly aim. And maybe rapid shot. But they won't go off till next turn anyways, so. Scorching Ray, here we go. Or maybe just a Hellfire Ray. 75 damage. Don't hold back. Oh, that's the worst possible thing that could have happened. At least it's outside of the range, I guess, for sure now. Really not a lot of chance of it being inside the range of that thing now. Forty. I don't mind burning spells for this fight just because it sucks. Arushale is gonna have to move or she's gonna get pulverized by just everything. Um Yeah, she's stunned or something. Can't do anything much about this. Well, let's see if we can't get a sword, uh, scorching ray off. I my body to science. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Strike. We can probably get her back up, assuming we can survive this next round of combat. The light okay, pause. You. Len, you got breath of life kicking around. I know you do. Actually, you have inspiring recovery. Never got to use that one, so there we go. No level drain for that one. Problem solved. Everyone is alive. Now we can go get our sweet treasure. We also got 10,000 experience for that. It's pretty decent. The remains of the Minotaur have been carefully dismembered and carved with profane runes similar to Ritual Sacrifice. There's also the White Wind's Cloak. It's really good for like a good duelist. But other than that, I think we're done in this room. So we've gone that way, we've gone that way, we've gone this way, we've gone up here. I'm missing something in this area, not this center room, I know that part. I think we need to go in this door. I'm just trying to figure out, because there's a room we've definitely missed, because I know because we haven't gotten the, the specific sword that I'm looking for. It's an extremely good longsword for Sila. Much better than her current Radiance sword. Radiance will be better later on, for sure. Like, 100% better. But until then, it's only a plus two cold iron sword, which kind of sucks. We're getting those eggs, that is important. There's also a door here. I think it goes to the middle as well, though. I think we go into this room, if I'm not mistaken. To get where I want to go. Did we not loot this thing? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Saving. Did I open and close at the exact same time? I sure did. I'm off. Test of my abilities. More enemies, of course. Desna, guide my hand. Are we in another surprise round? Not that I. You should have displeased run. by this. It's just weird. Um, you guys can run in. We need to take down these prophets and stuff. You need to heal yourself. Yes. Awful. Need better healing in this group somehow. Just bring Darren along. <laughs> uh, we will do a heal, even though we only have two of them. Make your peace. Probably should have turned on our buffs. I don't think I'm gonna waste any spells here. Where's the painted eye? Oh, it's a babao. 
See, look at how many critical hits they get on just like a regular basis. It's insane. This will hurt. Don't hold back. Annoying. Um, we definitely can't get close enough to heal our other character, but we can do like a uh, evil eye. Super good job. Into the fray. We can move up. We can't cast anything now because we have moved too far. Let's shoot that one. I will resist. And we're fine there. Do we do haste? I think we do haste. It's gonna matter. I think they're gonna kill our character. How many critical hits do they get at combat? Like, seriously, it's getting ridiculous. They don't have that good of a crit range. It's like 19 to 20, but they roll it very often. Let's get her back up. Just gotta kill these ones now. Good job, Sila. That was a good round for you. This one's gonna come back to life at least once. Prepare yourself. It is still alive. And shoot it, I guess. Did not expect that to work. And it didn't, so. Can we stand up without dying? Maybe. You should have run! Hooray, we did it. We're alive again, and now we can't do much. We can, however, do a heal. Which we're going to hold on to and not do anything with, because that's just where we're at. Come back to life so we can kill you. This will hurt. 170 damage hit. Jesus. Uncool. Do we even have a heal spell? Like, just one heal? I don't think we do... I really should have memorized one. I did. Where's that located on my bar? I know I put it somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's right there. I know that she has a uh, cure wounds kicking around still as well, so let's just go use that. Alright, let's move on. I sense something. It's a button. Something is not right here. Did I get this with the other group? I honestly don't remember. It's like a vampire coffin here. I finished here. Is there more? I must have. I do what I must. Yeah, it's just one of the notes for the for the locks. Is this the room I was looking for? I think it is. Yet another obstacle. It's looking kinda like it. Don't hold back. Did we just kill that shear in one hit? We might have. Desna, guide my hand. The inheritor, guide my blade. Something just happened. I heard a bunch of weird sounds. Maybe the room we're looking for is beyond that door. Dead for sure. Phantasmal web just went off. That one died instantly. You won't survive me. Oh, there's so many of them. Okay, well let's go get up there and start punching those guys. They are the more annoying ones. Alright, let's see what we can do. We can't move our dog because he is stuck, but he can still kill things that are close by. Make your peace. Same thing with Sila. Actually, Sila could move, sorry. Oh, we have an Elshni. 
it can't be targeted yet because it's not technically in existence. Same with this Marilith that just decided to arrive. I just kind of wanted to walk forward. I didn't want to actually pick that up. So. There's a Disciple of Xanthir here too. So many attacks. Endure this. All right. Um. We could just fireball. Who do we attack? Probably the Disciple of Xanthir, honestly. We're pretty surrounded right now. These guys get way too many attacks. They get like the attack when they come to life and then they get to attack just in their initiative order. It's very annoying. I guess we should kill the Marilith first. If we could actually hit it. Not terrible. That unholy Nimbus is bad, but nothing we can do about that. Let's Fire Snake. You might be like, you can't Fire Snake into your group, you'll kill them. Fire Snake actually doesn't do friendly fire damage. Well, Shadow Votary died. The other ones didn't get hit for some reason. Oh, Spell Resistance, right. Okay. Uh, sure. Miss both of your attacks. Awesome. Lands down. Can't do anything. Shadow Votaries are almost dead. Who are we attacking? I guess probably the Nelshi? No, the Sable still. I don't want that scythe to kill me. This is going fine. Okay. We just have to kill this one now. And then all of our group can just focus fire on the, uh... Nelfshi. Oh, she's dead. Or not dead, but she's out of the fight for now. Unholy Nimbus. Very annoying. Some more of our people are out of the fight. No, that's not what I meant for us. Well, now we can't do anything. That sucks. That's okay. We still killed it. Do, 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 do. Just wait, people. Don't need haste or anything. Let's just... Almost killed this one. Go, Sila, go! Didn't use Smite Evil or anything either. I wanted to uh, save our smite evils. We could have used some of our other abilities, but that's fine. We easily overcame the fight. Grab, 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 grab. Yes, 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 yes. Done. Next one. Sure, we'll grab some cups and bowls. Why not? And some spoons. Grab all. Someone just dropped something on my roof. And by roof, I mean just like the ceiling. And the floor upstairs, really. Just grabbing all the garbage, and then we'll head through the door, which I think... Oh, that's not the dagger I wanted to pick up, but fine, whatever. All the food in the world will starve them out. Fingers crossed this is the room I was looking for. It's a room? I don't think it's the room I'm looking for. But it is a room that I needed to get to at some point. Was this the one that I guessed the password to? When it was like this one, this one, this one, this one? It is definitely the one I guessed the password to. But the other one, what was it? I think it was... I had it written down. And I don't remember where I put it down. Just gonna look it up. It'll take two seconds. I had it written down. It's written down somewhere. Um, let's just see what the uh, solution to this little thing is. All right, diamond, circle, triangle, hexagon. 
Okay. Diamond, circle, triangle, hexagon. There we go. That's the one. That's the only one I don't remember. And there's a note on the ground. Uh, save before you go running in there to do lockpick stuff. I'm glad I was useful Got to Got a ring, which is... Oh, man, we need to go way down. Ring of Sacred Touch. Oh, right, it's when we deal damage, we deal extra damage. When we heal, we heal extra. Right, right, right. We have, don't have a key to get out there yet. That's, the, that's actually how you leave the area. It's either us now, or uh, then. this little room... Has Jerabeth inside of it. We got hit by spells. I don't even know what we got hit by. Staggered. Sickened. Shaken. How'd you cast so many spells at once? What did you even do? We saved that. Oh. It would be permanent if we didn't make that saving throw. That is... That is something else. Alright, well, I guess... Fair enough. Let's just, uh... Haste. We need haste. That's what we need. It's gonna hellfire her, but I don't think we need that. Let's get in here. These guys are enemies, by the way, but there's nothing we can do about them at the moment. Prepare yourself. I mean, we could just attack them, but I don't want to. I want to kill Jerabeth first. Her spells are pretty nasty and will cause us some serious problems if we don't get to kill them. These guys will turn into Glabrazoo looking things. They do hit real hard, so it doesn't hurt to get rid of them if you can. Maybe Lan will focus on those because he can actually hit them pretty easily, whereas Jerabeth's a bit of a tougher opponent to hit. And I don't see... Oh, she's hiding behind. Someone got dominated. Who got dominated? Interceptor is now dominated. Last one round per level. And it took off all of his gear. What was the saving throw on them, by the way? 30, so we needed to roll a 16. Probably wasn't going to happen, honestly. That didn't do anything. Desna, guide my hand. Jerabeth just took a ton, or just took a ton of damage. I need to move away from our own enemy or own creature. You won't stop us. This is gonna suck for a little bit, or I guess we could just kill it. But I would rather not. Ow. Okay, next one up. Let's just kill Jerabeth. Or not. The Guide my blade. Super good, Sila. Thanks for missing every single attack. You've crossed the wrong mark. Her ability to cast so many spells at once is very, very irritating. We missed. And we're going to get a bunch of damage. Make your peace. I saw... Oh, she has teleported away. We can't afford that. Alright, let's try this again. Freaking Dominate is such an annoying ability. Basically anything that causes you to lose control of your characters is just very annoying. Especially when you built them to murder archers, and that's exactly what they do. <laughs> Alright, let's gather up. We'll buff ahead of time, because it new? seems like a smarter idea. It's time to act. And we will do Archon's aura. You are my favorite aid. And we're also gonna get uh, mm -hmm. you to do Owl's Wisdom. A little bit extra will save, can't hurt. Alright, let's uh, just grab our melee people. And run it. 
Didn't get to go as fast as I thought we were going to, but that's fine. We did save our saving throw. It's Death Clutch. Oh damn, if it failed saving throw, we would have just died. Didn't realize that. Let's get in there and smack her in the face. Four nine. Don't hold back. Strike! Just go. You should have run. I know there's traps, thanks. We need a 20 to hit that thing? Damn. Alright, these guys are coming in. And we got hit pretty hard. I think I might put up that uh, aura. We probably are going to have to rest before we do this again, so... Guarded hearth it is. Hopefully that should help a little bit with some of these situations we're going to be in. Um, okay. For some reason I couldn't target Jerabeth, so I'm just going to attack that one. That's fine. I'm going to try and ice prison her, although I don't think it's going to work. Did It did work. She overcame spell the spell thingy, but she uh, resisted the actual effect of it. The Guide my blade. Awesome job. Good job not hitting him for it all. <sighs> this is just an annoying thing. Um, okay, let's just take these guys down. Why are we attacking so slow? Did somehow the combat speed increase? Yourself. It must have. Uh, hang on. Options, where was that? Gameplay? Turn-based mode. I'm going to like plus Two. It's a double speed, but for some reason it's slowed down. Let's try 2.5. Because, like, we don't want to spend all year waiting for things to do their actions. These guys are moving really slow, too. Why is everything moving so slow? It is very too weird. For apologies. She keeps making her will save, which is kind of annoying. You crossed the wrong mark. One Glabbers who's dead. That one missed all of its attacks. Can't move in to attack that one, so we'll just hit that guy. Jerabeth took some damage. Dominate monster will save. Did work. No glory without risk. And let's just Don't hold back. try and do some damage for once. Not the worst round of combat in the world. The concealment bonus is kind of irritating, but... Designate her as a target. Study target. Desna, and I'm moving forward. Hand. Let's keep trying to, eagle, er, to evil at her. Her will save is incredibly good, though. Just didn't fully expect you it to work. Survive me. Feels like there's like an aura of slow around this whole fight. Mind fog is out, and so is restless slumber. What is your plus to hit? I mean, she's still got a pretty good plus to hit. There we go. Jerpeth has so much life. Like a truly shocking amount of life. There we go, she died. Alrighty, so we did finally win. I'm prepared. There's a trap. I'm gonna go open the trap. I sense something. There's also a book there. I finished here. All right, we're Is gonna save, more? gather up our group. That's a 50% chance of not doing anything, so let's just press these things. That opens up a treasure chest there. 100% fixed chance, so that one's fine to do. Some random junk. Uh, this is the treasure chest that we're going to have 
probably a little trouble with. Let's we'll see what we can do, though. It's a 50-50 chance. Which means it's going to take us 9 or 10 attempts. Oh, hey, it worked. Balanced Defender. This is the sword I was looking for, by the way. Um, so, Balanced Defender is a plus three longsword, and when I wield a shield in another hand, he grants the wielder an additional plus three bonus on attack rolls with the longsword. So, it's really good for Sila to actually be able to hit things. Is it Radiance? No. Do I care? No. It's such a good sword for someone that uses shields that, like, she's now technically a plus 32 to hit. Which is really, really good. Now she can actually turn on power Together? attack, probably, and not suck nearly as bad. She's still got plus 28 to hit. Let's uh, hit up this lore nature check. Thanks, Somewhat so scary, awesome, but harmless man. plants that grow in the abyss. Someone lovingly recreated a scene from the wilderness of the de uh, demon world. And this says... An entomologist's tool. A board dotted with pins for displaying insects. And of course we have her loot, which is the chipped key from the Agrisantum and the Extend Metamagic Rod, which is interesting. Time to leave though. Well, not time to leave, but time to go all the way down to the middle area. Which I don't think that's actually a way in. I think this is a way in. But what's our time looking like? What are we at for time? We are at 46 minutes, so we're going to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to, you know, go through the middle... Go outside, go across the bridge, all that good stuff. Finally take on Xanthir Vang and end this little shroud. For now though, I'll leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you next time. Take care.